Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Madden Cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 video for you. Today I'm going to be going over a clip of a single play from Madden 20. Uh, that was so odd. I had to go back into the replay system and find out what happened. And as I watched this video, I realized that I found more and more things that were just ridiculously awful about this game. So I'm going to make a video about it. A little bit of a rant. Uh, but like I said, this is just one single play I'm going to go over. And I can find at least 10 things that are horribly wrong with this game. Either the mechanics, the animations, whatever. And I'm going to go over in that video today. So to start off, on this particular play, all I really wanted to do was bring the safety down that was man to the running back over the center of the field so I could essentially cover the center of the field and as the quarterback hikes the ball my momentum from the pre-snap movement carries me into uh, what essentially is a string of horrible animations uh, but number one I mean I can't help but realize there is a huge lane right here and if that's the case if my momentum carries me through to the line of scrimmage shouldn't I be able to go through this lane I mean, in reality, that's a pretty big gap. It's bigger than the size of the football player that I'm using. But for whatever reason, there's like an invisible wall there. And I guess they do that just so that you can't, um, you know, I guess you shoot gaps. Because there was that was something that was a little bit of an issue back in the day. But it's horribly unrealistic. I'm sending a house blitz. There's no reason that I shouldn't be able to make it through this gap. I shouldn't be able to squeeze through this gap and come straight for the quarterback. That's just ridiculous. I'm sending, essentially, on this play, I'm sending about seven guys. And then when I get sucked then it becomes eight but you're telling me that i can't run through this hole for some reason the next issue that i found was what you're watching now i essentially this is the reason that i went back into the replay in the first place i essentially got sucked in to from animation to animation of me bouncing off of my own defensive players or the offensive blockers um you know i don't know if that was the effect how how the how the effect was created but you're going to see here i essentially bounce from animation to animation until the play is completely over as you can see i have no control as as this is going on right now i'm trying to back off and drop into coverage on number 81 right there because um, that's my assignment i mean that's how i'm thinking my assignment is and for whatever reason like i said i get sucked into the line and then i bounce from animation to animation to animation until the play is a hundred percent over I also couldn't help but notice that I felt like watching the replay that it was pulling me towards the guy that I was man assigned to if this game's man 21 is going to give us player control I th that sounds like the exact opposite and I and I can give you clips where they actually made it sound more like they're going to up the animations rather than reduce them which is what most players want but like I said it's pulling me towards this running back because that was my man assignment but it's supposed to I'm supposed to have my own control on who I'm using it shouldn't I shouldn't be forced into any situation which is exactly what it did here so that's something as well it shouldn't force you into a situation it's almost like it's guiding me somewhere I don't want to go this entire play has pretty much been that uh, been that scenario now luckily like I was saying this play ends in a sack uh, which is another issue entirely brings up actually several more issues now I'm playing against a computer opponent I was simply trying to do the rookie premiere uh, cards trying to get the uh, challenges done as quickly as possible to finish my rookie premieres I got about four done or five done at this point and I'm trying to get as many as possible now you can see uh, you know where's the pre-snap read now the AI the AI in this game is horrible and that brings me to my next point. I mean, I'm playing against Aaron Rodgers, who's one of the best quarterbacks in the league still. I know he's a little bit older, but he could definitely see that this is a house blitz coming, and he makes no adjustments at all. I mean, I'm, online play obviously is different, but people that like to play, uh, you know, offline modes and stuff like that, they're getting hung out to dry because he, he's completely unaware that there's guys screaming off the corner here, and then until like the last second, he makes a little bit of an adjustment. I mean, where's the throwing animation? Like the real Aaron Rodgers is the playmaker. He would hit one of these. There's millions open guys here the, the receiver that i was trying to cover but i couldn't is wide open over the middle that he could just do a little flip pass to both of the running backs are wide open now i mean first of all he should have made some sort of adjustment like a real ai system that, that madden has no idea how to create would make some adjustments if they see that there's so many guys stacking the box like this that obviously i'm sending the house so it's to a point where you know these receivers number one he would flip it to one of these guys even if the animation came up that it was incomplete because the receivers didn't have their heads turned around or whatever some sort of realistic animation like that but all aaron Rodgers does all one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time does is try to take a little bit of a step back and then just gets hammered for a sack 
So ultimately, the pre-snap reading is terrible, but the post-snap reading is also terrible. The AI from both perspectives is horrible. So I feel bad for people that like to play offline and buy this game because it's a joke that there's nothing better that Madden can do than this. If they wanted to make a challenging football game, they would make the AI a little bit better than this. I mean, that's the bottom line. One of the next things that I noticed, going back to the pre-snap animations, as well as, like I said, a horrible pre-snap read by Aaron Rodgers, for whatever reason, when I move this cornerback into the blitzing uh, QB contain lane, sometimes if you don't do it and, and the, the game kind of reads it like you're gap stacking, it will like turn the cornerback either backwards completely or like staring off into space like this particular cornerback is doing right here. What is he doing is he watching the wide receiver split out to the right just in case is he covering that guy no he's coming in on a blitz so that's the reason that he comes in late when you watch this animation of these cornerbacks flying off the edge it's because of the stupid animation that ea puts in pre-snap i mean if, if a guy was that stupid he would get cut he wouldn't even be on the field if he was doing stupid stuff like this but ea is okay with that the next thing that i notice is look at the splits that my defensive ends have these guys should be getting off around the edge as well on both sides i have defensive ends that are wider than the the blocking outside tackles but for whatever reason they just get suctioned right into a standard blocking animation they should easily be be stretching the corner going around the edge of these tackles but you can see right here he's still on the outside right before he engages and then when he actually engages he gets sucked in and he's squared up with them that happens again to all five of my defensive linemen or guys that are positioned at defensive line positions. They're mostly linebackers. They all are like that. Here on the left side, same thing. Wide split gets sucked right into the point where he's, he, does, he does nothing. And none of these guys actually put up a swim move or a single pass rush move throughout the entire play as it happens. It's just a straight wall of blockers from the Packers on offense, and they all just basically just get sucked in and they do nothing. Two of the players doing this, by the way, are 99 overall players and they all basically end at the exact same point with no animation nothing to show you that they're progressing better than the the lower rated players so as far as mutt goes the overalls really don't count or matter as you can see like i said it's just a straight line a straight wall that they they, they basically just walk them all back none of them make a single pass rush move at all and like i said my best pass rusher on this entire defensive line is right here in the middle number 99 that's chase young the number uh number two pick from the redskins that 99 overall rookie premier card that I was talking about. So he should be having at least more success. He should be pushing the lineman back a little bit more than he has. But if you watch the replay, he actually has the least amount of success, gets the least amount of push, and he just gets stood up by the center. And if you watch where they start and where they end, he's the furthest away. So moving on to another issue, if you notice, both cornerbacks come in at pretty much the exact same time. Uh, you know, in, in a real life play, the cornerback that comes in a little bit later, I mean, it triggers an animation once again, but the cornerback that comes in a little bit later wouldn't stop, do a couple of spins here like he does. He would go for that half a sack. For whatever reason, he pulls up, spins around like a ballerina just so he doesn't hurt poor Aaron Rodgers. I mean, maybe that's a little bit more realistic in today's NFL because they do have rules against hitting the quarterback, but this is what they're talking about when they're saying they're trying to fix these animations to the point where these guys would finish the play. I mean, he just denied himself a half a sack by being a nice guy, and there was no guarantee that that first cornerback get makes the play so for whatever reason this guy just just comes up lame if that was if that happened in real life nfl i'm pretty sure that dude would be, would be sitting on the bench right about now i mean if you get a free shot at a quarterback like that you got to take it i mean he's well within the pocket you're well within the area where you can easily um you know hit him and, and it's nothing it wouldn't look like anything dirty so why would that animation happen other than the fact that once the the animations triggered that Aaron Rodgers is going down and getting sacked that this other guy just doesn't want to interrupt the animation I guess is the only way to say it and that's just you know that's just poor animations right there now the next thing is a little bit more of an observation like I said once the animation is triggered you can see that the play essentially is dead and you're going to see all the linemen go from basically the exact same animation to individual animations, which is basically like them finishing the play. You can see when the play is, is essentially dead. And now you see like a mush pile of, of linemen everywhere fighting and hand fighting and, and doing different things. You can see right here, we get a push, guy, guy looking for a flag. That's just a triggered animation. That's really cool looking, but it's after the play. It, it may help to make the play look more, uh, more authentic in the end, but it had nothing to do when the actual play was up in the air. It basically gives the air, the, the idea that this almost feels like these things are pre-designated during the play. And then after the play, it looks like anything could happen, but you can see there's just some hand fighting, some shoving, a guy falls down 
down. Um, there's just a lot of different things going on. And, you know, ultimately, like I said, it looks really cool. And that's a good thing to add to make it look a little more authentic. But it would really be nice to have some authenticity when the play is still being decided. I mean, I just don't understand how, how that is acceptable. Where you go from the wall of blockers, uh, which is just, you know, impenetrable to this mush pile. And now it looks authentic when the play is over. I mean, is that what people want? Or do you want authenticity when the play is going on? So quite a few of these things uh, Madden 21 did say that they were working on. I think it's a little bit of lip service. We're going to find out when the new game comes out. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.